Hey, what's up everybody? How are you doing? This is Bayo Adio. Welcome to my channel. I am a Nigerian American YouTube vlogger and I vlog about my fitness and about different travel experiences that I currently uh, partake on. Right now, everything that I talk about is primarily focused on that. If you'd like to binge watch some of my videos about Lagos or you're interested about Africa in general, check out my um, playlist called Life in Lagos. Other than that, let's get to the topic of the day, the video of the day. So today, I want to talk about the most popular requested contents that people have wanted me to shoot. I've seen lots of comments about it, I've seen lots of follow-up about it, and I've also gotten reminders about it. And quite frankly, this is also the topic that I was heavily researching uh, before kind of traveling to Nigeria. So, I am here to share that with you all, and the topic is the cost of living in Lagos, Nigeria. All that I ask in return for this research and compilation is just by hitting that like button underneath this video. It's going to help my channel, it's going to help the algorithm. Thank you so much. All right, so let's get into this. So today's topic again is cost of living in Lagos, Nigeria specifically. And as I was kind of thinking about how I wanted to arrange this video, I was mainly, mainly exposed to the cost of living in Lagos, in the island part of Lagos, um, but I didn't spend so much time focusing on the mainland. But what I did for you guys is I contacted one of my staff that lives on the mainland and I drilled him with questions on his cost of living and I'm so appreciative and grateful that he was willing to share that with me. And then you guys can kind of see the differences between living on the mainland and the island. What is um, an average cost of living? So I would also like to uh, kind of put this, I don't know if it's disclaimer out there, as you guys might be aware, the cost of living varies quite a bit. You know, it can be low, it can be high. Everything is like a range and fluid. But I wanted to try my best to pick the middle ground just to give you guys a rough idea of uh, what the amounts are. So, and uh, just know that it can be fluid. It can be a little bit lower, it can be a little bit higher, depending on your taste, your preferences, your standards, your lifestyle, all of that stuff. But with that being said, let's just kind of get after it. I am going to start on the mainland and I'm going to talk about the different categories of how I broke this down. And this video might be long, so um, hopefully it's not too long, but hang tight. Uh, and then at the end, I will give you guys a summary of what a cost of living is. So there's kind of um, the categories that I want to focus on, and I have my laptop beside me here to use for reference. I want to focus on kind of like your housing, like rent, buying, all that stuff. I want to focus on groceries and food. Um, kind of childcare and healthcare, I mean childcare and nanny, and then transportation. And this video specifically is going to address the cost of living for a family of three, which is what I've gotten mainly, so there must be a lot of family followers on my channel. But this can also help you, you can just kind of reduce the expenses a little bit to kind of get a rough idea of what it would be like for a single person. But this is for like a family of three to four, so that means husband, wife, and one kid or two kids. All right, and also the person that I interviewed on the mainland is also the same situation. He has, I think, two or three kids, husband, wife. And for me, I have one daughter, me and my wife. All right, so let's go. So rent, groceries, nanny, childcare, transportation, and then the recurring bills like internet data, water, electric, cable TV, um, waste management, and laundry entertainment these are the categories that i'm going to talk about i'm sure there might be more expenses beyond that but i wanted to focus on like the core cost of living all right so and there's also going to be a little bit more explanation because things are just work a little bit differently from what you might be used to so the first thing that's unique about lagos nigeria in the rental market when we start with housing is that typically you have to pay a year up front. So what I did to help you guys kind of guesstimate is I took that yearly amount that you are typically going to pay and I divided it by 12 and I included it as part of your monthly budget and cost of living in Lagos, Nigeria. 
So I am going to start with the mainland and then I am going to start with an island. Or should I start with the island first or the mainland for a second? Uh, anyways, let's start with the mainland. All right, so the mainland, housing on the mainland typically can go as cheap as 350,000 Naira a year to roughly like one to 1.5 million Naira a year. And the reason why there's such a big gap is there are some expensive estates on the mainland that are more affluent, higher, you know, richer people live there, more expensive. And then there's like living situations and compounds and areas that's a lot cheaper. And we're talking, they also ranges like the studio, whether it's a one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, and all the amenities that it comes with. So that's why there's a range. Um, but typically, 350,000 to 1, 1 1.5 million Naira. So in dollars, ooh, let me bring out my calculator for you guys. And I'm going to be using the exchange rate of 380 Naira, just to give you guys a rough idea. All right, so 350,000 is roughly 900 uh, and twenty dollars a year. So typically, you're going to be paying seventy-six dollars to one hundred dollars a month um, on the mainland to um, roughly like a thousand twelve hundred dollars a month, um, depending on how high you want to go. Um, but on average, I just kind of picked in the middle of something that's decent and comfortably comfortable, um, which is. Yeah, so which is $1,300 for a whole year. So $1,300 for a whole year, which is roughly $100 a month. So that's like very, very reasonable, um, very cheap. But again, it comes with compromises, which I'm going to talk about as we kind of go through this. Um, so yeah, so just know that you're typically going to be paying upfront, year upfront for your rent. Uh, typically there's not month to month there are other services that offer this but it gets a little bit more expensive or you can use Airbnb for sh furnished apartments and shortlets and all that stuff but I just want to focus on like rent like living in Lagos all right so groceries typically on the mainland would cost roughly about 15,000 naira um, a week for a family of two to three now it this again scales up depending if you're shopping at the market, eating local foods, but if you want to like still eat foreign foods, you want to stop at the supermarket, you want to get all this name brands, then you can get a lot more expensive. So for the subject that we're talking about here, we're talking about somebody that's living in Nigeria, that's eating local foods, that's shopping at the market. On the mainland, he can feed his family for roughly 60K a month, roughly 15K per week. So that means getting rice, you know, tomatoes, some meat, um, some vegetables, some fruits, snacks, all those type of things. Kind of basic food items, nothing like you're splurging. Um, and then nanny and childcare for somebody that's gonna watch your kid full time, kind of ranges anywhere from 40 to like 70K a month. So, um, so grocery 60K a month is like $150 a month. And then childcare is roughly like $125 a month on the mainland, depending on different qualifications, you know, what they do with your kid. Um, $125 to $150 a month. Transportation, it varies greatly, but if you're going to be committed from the mainland to the island, which a lot of people do, um, it can get kind of pricey. That one is roughly 27K a month in transportation. So rents roughly 110. I actually did this math here on the spreadsheet. Groceries are 150 dollars. Nanny like 125 to 130, and then like transportation can be like 70 dollars a month. So that's like roughly 27 to 28 k. Trans and this is like not like Uber. This is more like public transportation where you catch the bus to go. Okay. So again, know that you can scale up. This can easily be. 150k um, if you're going to be like doing uber or boats or things like that and you live on the mainland and you work on the island all right now bills and utilities again average 
internet is going to be about $26, which is about uh, um, 10K. Water, about $26. Um, and again, internet data just depends on your usage. If you're working at home, if you're heavy, you your you download video, you stream. Water is actually kind of unique for this particular person. Um, they have to um, hire and pay somebody to actually bring water that they can bathe with, that they can use wash clothes regular with. And then they buy the sachets of water as drinking water, um, roughly a few days for them to drink. So roughly in general, um, they spend about like 2,500 naira a week for water. Uh, so in general, it would be roughly like $26 a month in water. Now, on the mainland, especially with this low cost of living where you're paying $100 a month, these apartments and living are not serviced. And we're gonna talk about service and what's not serviced. Let me just kind of talk about it. So apartments and usually when you rent there, non-service then they're service departments service departments means they provide a little bit more amenities that you pay for as, as part of your rent or pay to a separate person like security water backup generator and um what else um you know cleaning of the compound all of that stuff mowing the lawn beautification all of that stuff maintenance all of that jazz all right so on the mainland, since you have to get your own water, you have to get your own uh, electricity, a lot of people um, have the regular electric, but they also have their own backup generator, which I think they use heavily because the electric power supply situation in Nigeria is not great right now. So that means um, this person has to buy a diesel, has to pay somebody to come and service the generator whenever something breaks down or they come and do a check-in once or twice a month and this person charges 1005 for every time they come in they have to buy oil um, and then they have to buy diesel and kerosene um, or I mean diesel or petrol to kind of power the generator so roughly you can spend roughly a hundred dollars a month 40k Naira in generator and power electric supply fees very expensive um, but that's if you're using it 247 but I'm sure it can get a little bit cheaper there like 20k 5k if you're using it moderately all right um, and then security varies on the mainland I think when people hire security usually it's like a hundred dollars a month roughly somewhere around there where they pay the gets man 35k a month and then he also kind of does things on the side except tips here and there um but for this person they kind of share the security in their compound they pay vigilantes which is very very unique um and then each compound pays per room or per person so this person pays roughly like i don't know like uh like i don't know five or six dollars a month to contribute to that pile of uh, money but if you hire your own private gitsman security it's gonna cost roughly a little bit higher a little bit lower somewhere around there all right and then for the trash can for people for waste management to come and gather his trash he roughly pays about 1k a month which is about three dollars a month all right and then entertainment which is like taking his kids out occasionally um, maybe to go out to eat to KFC or go to the movie theater can be anywhere from like 10 to 15k a month and then laundry depending if he's doing it by himself or he's hiring someone to help his wife out it can be 1005 for every time somebody comes and do a big pile of laundry so pretty much $15 a month you can get someone to come and do your laundry and that's on the mainland so if I calculated all of this together um, if we include rent it looks like um, for a family of four or three, you should be able to live fine for like uh, anywhere from like, uh, including rent, which you pay up front. But if I'm adding, if I broke down the rent, like which is like $110, so roughly $800 a month, you can live on the mainland with a family of like uh, three to four, which is very, very decent, very cheap. Um, but again you can go higher than that you can go up to 1500 2000 if you feel like you have a higher standard like you know you don't want to adjust your expectations and standard you want to live in a more like 
expensive estates, you want to shop in the supermarket, then it can be a little bit higher than that. So it's going to be fluid, it's going to be flexible, or your entertainment might be different. Um, those type of things. All right. So hopefully that gives you guys a rough idea of what the cost of living is on the mainland. Now, if you're single, you can probably live for like $500 to $600 a month, especially if you're not including your rent because you've already paid that up front all year round or maybe you have a house that you bought but so yeah as a single person you can live 500 to 600 dollars a month on the mainland pretty good right all right so now let's talk about the island which is where i stayed at um and i have the most experience at so let's talk about housing on the island and um so you know on the mainland i said 350 500k 750k can kind of get you a nice house in like two three bedroom apartment flat house whatever <clears throat> on the island depending on where you're at you sh are going to be spending roughly one million to like four million naira a year so if i'm doing this calculation for you guys um, that is going to be roughly like, uh, let me see, one million naira. You know what? Let me bring up the <laughs> the Google converter for me. That would be way easier. All right. So one million naira in dollars is two thousand six hundred and thirty-one dollars. So that is how much on the lower end and that's per year so that's not bad so if you break that down monthly that's like almost double what it is on the mainland actually a little bit more than double you'll be paying roughly like 220 dollars a month if you break it down now on the upper hand you'll be spending almost four million and uh that is roughly like ten thousand five hundred dollars a year so that's going to equate roughly to like uh oh yeah to like almost nine hundred dollars a month that you're going to be spending on the upper hand why is there a variance even on the island there's different parts of living let me bring my spreadsheet yeah on the island yes so like for example, in the Lekki phase one, in like the Aja area, which is a little bit cheaper right now, you can get a full, you can get an apartment for a year for like a million to 1.5 million. But in like the Lekki area, you'd be getting an apartment for like maybe 2 million. Now, if you want to roll with the big dogs like Banana Island in the Ikoyi area, then you're going to be spending roughly 4 million Naira a year which is like that $10,000 a year. So you're gonna be roughly about a thousand, roughly. Now, if you're coming here for a short stay and you wanna kind of do like an Airbnb where like you're not ready to like commit for a year, you just wanna come visit for like a month and you want a place that's furnished, that's serviced, all of that stuff, it would roughly be, depend on the peak season, if like it's in December or slower, you're gonna be spending anywhere from like 2,000 to $4,000 for one month for like a short let's stay for furnished apartment that already has water security, internet, gas, everything all included. All right, so now sometimes this rent that I just quoted does not include the service fee. So now let's talk about service departments. So that means if you are going to be busy, you don't want to deal with the headache of having to deal with your own water, electric generator, all that stuff. You can get an apartment that is serviced. So that means they'll provide your own their own security that in their gated estate they will make sure that all the outside of the apartments you know the plants is secured if you have a pool they're gonna clean it um they can service your gas potentially um if your lights goes out they can have a backup generator to automatically kick in water is included in this that the estates can provide all of this you can get and not have to worry about a thing and it comes at a fee so sometimes they charge 500,000, I'm just giving you again a rough ballpark, 500,000 a year for service fee. And 500,000 a year is Google to the rescue. Huh. 
So yeah, so roughly you might pay an additional like $1,300, $1,500 to, you know, to $1,500 in service fee just so you don't have to worry about all of that stuff, which kind of averages to roughly about $200 a month. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're at there. So I'm just kind of going to pick a middle ground. So it seems like on the island, you can pay anywhere from like, I think in the medium side, like diaspora standard, to be honest, um, what you guys are used to, you should be prepared to pay on average like 2 million naira a year to get something different to decent honestly 2.5 million naira you're going to you're going to get what you pay for so i think if and i believe that having a comfortable place in your home is the most important decision you can make coming to Lagos Nigeria so i don't know if you want to be too cheap so i think you need to plan for like 2 to 2.5 million naira for a decent apartment which is roughly going to be about it's going to equate to about 500 to 800 dollars a month if we're kind of breaking it down but keep in mind you pay for this up front all year all right so groceries on the island for us was costing roughly on the mainland i think people spend about 100 to 150 for us it was costing roughly 500 dollars a month which is twice cheaper than what it is it will be in the u.s so that's a win for us but granted it's higher on the island food is a little bit more expensive but we also were buying things that um, at the supermarket sometimes, like a shop right. And then when we wanted to be like cheap and want to be budget conscious, um, then we would go to the market to buy things. Things are way, way, way cheaper at the market. So you can literally go anywhere from like 100K to 250K. So you can go from like 200 to $500 a month in groceries, depending on how bougie you want to be. Like if you wanted like, a store brand cereal you want like soy milk you want like you know special processed yogurt and you want crackers and you want like you know all these special items from the store it's gonna be the same cost as you would pay in the US or a little bit more but if you really or if you want to go KFC fast food Domino's pizza all that stuff you're gonna be spending sometimes the same or a little bit less but if you stick with local and you shop at the market and you eat local foods your food cost is gonna go way, 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 way down. So let's just say $500 roughly for groceries for a family of three to four, keep in mind. So if you're single, this can be as cheap as like 200 to 250 a month. So that's pretty, pretty good. All right, childcare on the island, it can be somewhere from 120K Naira to 150K Naira, or it can even be cheap to like 50, 70K. Just depends on what you're looking for. If you're like, want a full-time person, if you want somebody to um, be a little bit more experienced or trained in dealing with kids, or you want somebody to be able to read to your kids or give them a little bit more than just babysitting, then yeah, then you can pay a little bit more. But roughly, I would say roughly about 200 to $300 a month. And I know in the US, this is roughly about $750 to $1,000 a month. So I think this is great, um, but again, it's two, three times more expensive than on the mainland. Because on the mainland, roughly $130 on the island, double or triple, so $300 roughly. And then transportation is gonna be roughly about 20,000 a month. If I'm kind of basing what we did, we caught a lot of boats and Uber to go to different places. So sometimes it exceeds that like 30K because we want to go to the beach. We want to go here. And we did not do any car. We did not buy a car. We did not do any public transportation. So when we wanted to do grocery shopping, we wanted to go to the bank. I used Uber uh, boat all the time. So if you want to be, you, that can be like twice cheaper, <laughs> three times cheaper if you catch public transportation. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of roughly where it's at. Or if you have a car, you have to buy gas. It would still be roughly around the same. Again, this is a range because it also depends on how often you're going out. But I needed to pick a number so I can give you guys a rough idea. All right. And then internet data for me, I'm an extremely heavy user. So I almost 40K a month on data, to be honest, which is $100 a month. Um, transportation is roughly $50 a month. But also to help you guys with cost of living, you can actually hire a driver for roughly 10K a day if you want to have a driver be on call for you to take you anywhere that you need to go. So that would be roughly like $25 a day. They can take you 
on it. You can hire a driver to, if you want to just explore Nigeria, you can just hire someone to just go all day for you. So that's also accessible. Um, now, because typically, if you are on the island and you want to live in a gated area, which I'm assuming, security is very high for a lot of diaspora. So I'm just going to assume that you guys are going to be getting the service department because I'm sure a lot of you guys don't want to deal with the headache of that. But at least if you do, you kind of know how it works now. But typically a service department, water is included, so you don't have to worry about that. Security is included. Your trash can, like waste bin is included. So you don't have to worry about that as part of your budget, all right? And uh, service charge is roughly going to be like a hundred or hundred and thirty dollars a month. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then entertainment can be roughly a hundred dollars a month because again, you're on the island. If you go out to eat at a fancy restaurant, you can easily spend fifty dollars for you and your whole family. Like if you went to like KFC or Domino's Pizza, or if you wanted to splurge, if you're not going to the market, or if you wanted to go to the movies you know, things like that. Or if you like to go drink, you wanna to go to like a lounge or a bar, drinks can be just as expensive, food can just be just as expensive, five to $10 a meal. So again, that one entertainment is gonna be roughly 100 to $200, depending on, you know, how large you like to live. Oh yeah, so let's add electric. So I think, oh, I'm almost missing this. So I would say for the electric can be roughly 40K to 100K a month, depending on how big your house is. So let's just say electric is going to be about $100 a month on the island because that's not covered as part of the service fee typically. Um, and then gas would be roughly about 4 k So, and then laundry uh, for us, for when we hired somebody to come and do our laundry, come and take our clothes, laundry, fold everything, we were paying 4,000 Naira a week. So for 16 k which is roughly $42, um, you can have a your laundry done and not have to worry about it. So for cost of living for like a family of three to four on the island is gonna be $2,000 a month. Um, if you're single or you only have, you know, just you and your spouse, it can probably be half of that to be honest. So $1,000 to $2,000 a month. And again, this is including the service charge fee and the rent fee, which makes up half of that. Let's make the island cost of living roughly a thousand dollars flat or two thousand dollars flat all right if you're including rent for a family of three to four so hopefully this gives you guys a better idea of what a cost of living is in lagos nigeria on the mainland and on the island depending on how low you want to live or how high um, you want to live and depending on your standards so you can live very, very low if you're willing to adjust your standard. Uh, maybe you don't have 247 electric. Maybe you don't have a service department. Whatever the case might be. So yeah, I hope that you really enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed this video and you got a lot out of it and it was helpful to you, um, just hit the like button. Make sure that you subscribe the, to the YouTube channel. These are great ways to support my channel and help boost uh, the algorithm for more people to get access to this information. All right, guys, um, that's it. So remember, guys, remember, I'm getting ready to sign off. But remember, it's your time to rise and let your light shine. Peace.